The Strategic Missile Forces or Strategic Rocket Forces of the Russian Federation or RVSNRF are a military branch of the Russian Armed Forces that controls Russia's land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs. The RVSN was first formed in the Soviet Armed Forces, and when the USSR collapsed in December 1991, it effectively changed its name from the Soviet to the Russian Strategic Rocket Forces or Strategic Missile Troops. The Strategic Missile Forces were created on December 17, 1959 as the main force used for attacking an enemy's offensive nuclear weapons, military facilities, and industrial infrastructure. They operated all Soviet nuclear ground-based intercontinental, intermediate-range ballistic missile, and medium-range ballistic missile with ranges over 1,000 km. Complementary strategic forces within Russia are the long-range aviation and the Russian Navy's ballistic missile submarines. History The first Soviet rocket study unit was established in June 1946, by redesignating the 92nd Guards Mortar Regiment at Bad Burka in East Germany as the 22nd Brigade for special use of the Reserve of the Supreme High Command. On October 18, 1947 the brigade conducted the first launch of the remanufactured former German A-4 ballistic missile, or R-1, from the Kapustin Yar range. In the early 1950s the 77th and 90th Brigades were also formed to operate the R-1 SS-1A Scunner. The 54th and 56th Brigades were formed to conduct test launches of the R-2 SS-2 sibling at Kapustin Yar on June 1, 1952. From 1959 the Soviets introduced a number of intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs into service, including the R-12 SS-4 Sandal, the R-7 SS-6 Sapwood, the R-16 SS-7 Saddler, the R-9 SS-8 Sassen, the R-26 given the NATO reporting name SS-8 Sassen due to incorrect identification as the R-9, the R-36 SS-9 Scarp, and the RT-21 SS-16 Sinner, which was possible possibly never made fully operational. By 1990 all these early types of missiles had been retired from service. This was the very year that the Strategic Missile Forces were officially established as a service branch of the armed forces under the direct control of the Defense Ministry. The date of its formal foundation, December 17, is celebrated as Strategic Missile Forces Day. Two rocket armies were formed in 1960. The 43rd Rocket Army and the 50th Rocket Army were formed from the previous 43rd and 50th Air Armies of the Long Range Aviation. During a test of the R-16 ICBM on October 24, 1960, the test missile exploded on the pad, killing the first commander of the SRF, Chief Marshal of Artillery Mitrofan Ivanovich Nedelin. This disaster, the details of which were concealed for decades, became known as the Nedelin Catastrophe. He was succeeded by Marshal of the Soviet Union Kirill Moskalenko, who in turn was succeeded quickly by Marshal Sergei Biryuzov. Under Marshal V. Iryuzov the SRF deployed missiles to Cuba in 1962 as part of Operation Anadir. 36 R-12 intermediate-range ballistic missiles were sent to Cuba, initiating the Cuban Missile Crisis. The 43rd Guards Missile Division of 43rd Rocket Army manned the missiles while in Cuba. Marshal Nikolai Krylov then took over in March 1963 and served until February 1972. During this time French President Charles de Gaulle visited the Strategic Missile Forces in 1966. Together with Ni Krylov, he visited a missile division in Novosibirsk, and then at the invitation of Leonid Brezhnev participated in a demonstration missile launch at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in the Kazakh SSR. Chief Marshal of Artillery Vladimir Fedorovich Tolubko commanded the SRF from April 12, 1972 to July 10, 1985. Tolubko emphasized raising the physical fitness standards within the SRF. He was succeeded by General of the Army Yuri Pavlovich Maximov, who commanded from July 10, 1985 to August 19, 1992. According to a 1980 Time magazine article citing analysts from RAND Corporation, Soviet non-Slavs were generally barred from joining the Strategic Missile Forces because of suspicions of loyalty of ethnic minorities to the Kremlin. 
In 1989 the Strategic Missile Forces had over 1,400 ICBMs, 300 launch control centers, and 28 missile bases. The SMT also operated minus 10 Serbian Dinars SS-20 Sabre Intermediate Range Ballistic Missiles IRBMs and R-12 SS-4 Sandal Medium Range Ballistic Missiles MRBMs. Two-thirds of the road mobile Soviet-10 Serbian Dinars force was based in the Western Soviet Union and was aimed at Western Europe. One-third of the force was located east of the Ural Mountains and was targeted primarily against China. Older R-12 missiles were deployed at fixed sites in the Western Soviet Union. The Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, signed in December 1987, called for the elimination of all 553 Soviet-10 Serbian Dinars and R-12 missiles within three years. As of mid-1989, over 50% of 10 Serbian Dinars and R-12 missiles had been eliminated. By 1990 the Soviet Union had seven types of operational ICBMs, about 50% were heavy R-36M Satan and UR-100N ICBMs, which carried 80% of the country's land-based ICBM warheads. By this time it was also producing new mobile, and hence survivable ICBMs, the RT-23 SS-24 Scalpel and RT-2PM SS-25 Sickle. In 1990, with the R-12 apparently fully retired, the IISS reported that there were 350 ur one hundreds SS-11 Sego, Mod 2 thirds, 60 RT-2s SS-13 Savage still in service in one missile field, 75 ur 100 million rupees SS-17 Spanker, Mod 3, with 4 MIRV, 308 R-36 megaseconds mostly Mod 4 with 10 MIRV, 320 ur 100 ENDS mostly Mod 3 with 6 MIRV, some 60 RT-23s Silo and Rail Mobile, and some 225 RT-2PMs Mobile, composition of the Strategic Missile Forces 1960-1991, like most of the Russian military, the strategic missile forces have had limited access to resources for new equipment in the Yeltsin era. However, the Russian government has made a priority of ensuring that the missile forces receive new missiles to phase out older, less reliable systems, and to incorporate newer capabilities in the face of international threats to the viability of the nuclear deterrent effect provided by their missiles, in particular the development of missile defense systems in the United States. In 1995, the decree of the President of Russia 1239 from December 10, 1995, on establishing the Day of the Strategic Missile Forces Day and Military Space Forces Day, was promulgated. On July 16, 1997, President Boris Yeltsin signed a decree incorporating the Russian Space Forces and the Space Missile Defense Forces Russian, into the SMT. In doing so, nearly 60 military units and establishments were dissolved. However, four years later, on June 1, 2001, the Russian Space Forces were reformed as a separate branch of service from the SMT. Minister of Defense Marshal of the Russian Federation Igor Sergeyev, a former commander of the SMT from August 19, 1992 to May 22, 1997, played a major role in assuring funding for his former service. He was succeeded by General of the Army Vladimir Yakovlev, who commanded the SMT from June 1997 until April 27, 2001. Yakovlev was succeeded by Colonel General Nikolai Solovsov Ru, Solovkov Nikolai Evgenovich appointed the same day. In early 2009 Solovsov said that 96% of all Russian ICBMs are ready to be launched within a minute's notice. Solovsov was dismissed in turn in July-August 2009. Speculation over why Solovsov was dismissed includes opposition to further cuts in deployed nuclear ballistic missile warheads below the April 2009 figure of 1,500, the fact that he had reached the retirement age of 60, despite that he had recently been extended another year's service, or the failure of the Navy's Balava missile. After only a year, Lt. Gen. Andrei Shvechenko, appointed on August 3, 2009 by President Dmitry Medvedev, was replaced himself. 
The current commander of the Strategic Missile Forces, Colonel General Sergei Karakayev, was appointed to the post by a presidential decree of June 22, 2010. RVSN headquarters has a special sledgehammer that can be used to gain access to the launch codes if the commander feels the need to use these, but doesn't have normal access to the safe. Topic. Composition in 2010s According to Jane's Defense Weekly, the RVSN main command post is at Kuntsevo in the suburbs of Moscow, with the alternate command post at Kozvinsky Mountain in the Urals. Female cadets have now started to join the Peter the Great Strategic Missile Forces Academy. RVSN institutes also exist at Serpikov and Rostov-on-Don. An ICBM test impact range is located in the Far East, the Kura test range. Although this has been under Aerospace Defense Forces Command since 2010, the Strategic Missile Forces operate four distinct missile systems. The oldest system is the silo based R 36M 2 SS 18 Satan, which carries 10 warheads. The last missile will be in service until 2020. The second system is the silo-based UR-100NUTTH, SS-19 Stiletto, the last missiles in service with six warheads each will be removed by 2019. The single warhead mobile RT-2PM Topol, SS-25 Sickle are planned to be decommissioned by 2019. A new missile entering service is the RT-2UTTH Topol M, SS-27 Sickle B with single warhead, from which 60 are silo-based and 18 are mobile. Some new missiles will be added in future. First upgraded Topol M called minus 24 rupees yars, carrying three warheads, was commissioned in 2010 and in July 2011 the first mobile regiment with nine missiles was completed. In 2012-2017, about 80 ICBMs were placed in active duty. The composition of missiles and warheads of the strategic missile forces previously had to be revealed as part of the start I treaty data exchange. The most recently reported January 2017 order of battle of the forces is as follows 27th Guards Rocket Army HQ, Vladimir 98th Separate Mixed Aviation Squadron 7th Guards Rocket Division at Vipolzovo 14th Rocket Division at Yashkar Ola with 6 mobile minus 24 rupees yars 54th Guards Rocket Division at Takeovo with 18 mobile RT-2UTTH Topol M and 18 December 2011 mobile minus 24 rupees 28th Guards Rocket Division at Kazels with 12 silo based minus 24 rupees 60th Rocket Division at Tatashevo with 30 silo based UR-100NUTTH and 60 silo based RT-2UTTH Topol M 31st Rocket Army HQ, Rostoshi 102nd Separate Mixed Aviation Squadron 13th Red Banner Rocket Division at Dombrovsky with 18 silo-based R36M2 and presumed experimental variants of the UR100NUTTH with final hypersonic velocity warheads Project 4202. The R36s will be replaced with the new minus 28 rupees Sarmat when operational. 42nd Rocket Division at Nizhny Tagil with 27 mobile minus 24 rupees yars. 33rd Guards Rocket Army HQ, OMSK. 105th Separate Mixed Aviation Squadron. 35th Rocket Division at Barnal with 36 mobile RT-2PM Topol. 39th Guards Rocket Division at Novosibirsk with 27 mobile minus 24 rupees yars. 62nd Rocket Division at Ujor with 28 silo based R36M2, which will also replaced with the new minus 28 rupees Sarmat when operational. Topic: <laughs> Numbers of missiles and warheads. The Strategic Missile Forces have 46 silo based R36M2 SS18. 30 silo based UR100N SS19 56 mobile RT2PM Topol SS25 60 silo based RT2UTTH Topol M SS27 18 mobile RT2UTTH Topol M 
SS27 20 silo based minus 24 rupees yars SS29 90 mobile minus 24 rupees yars SS29 topic future According to the Federation of American Scientists, for the foreseeable future, all new Russian ICBM deployments will be of MIRVED versions of the SS-27 although a new ICBM and a heavy ICBM are also being developed. By the early 2020s, according to recent announcements by Russian military officials, all SS-18, SS-19, and SS-25 ICBMs will be gone. This development would leave a Russian ICBM force structure based on five modifications of the solid fuel SS-27 silo and mobile based SS-27 Mod 1 Topol M, silo and mobile based SS-27 Mod 2 minus 24 rupees Yars, and the minus 26 rupees Rubesh and the liquid fuel minus 28 rupees Sarmat with a large payload, either MIRV or some advanced payload to evade missile defense systems. Although the future force will be smaller, a greater portion of it will be MIRVed, up from approximately 36% in 2014 to roughly 70% by 2024. Topic. See also Russian Aerospace Defense Forces Awards and Emblems of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation List of states with nuclear weapons.